Okay, this is rank and nullity. We're gonna use our last example from our last video. And this row reduces to, so using those two pivots, again, they make the identity matrix when put together. So this is our rows that are in our row space. And then we use the two corresponding columns. This is a subset of R3, R2, and our NA is a solution space that solved our AX equals zero. And the two equations were So our question, our new question is, and our answer is clearly there's just one. So we call that the dimension of our null space of A is one. We also call this the nullity. So in general, the nullity is the dimension of the null space of that matrix. The rank, is the dimension of the row space and the dimension of the column space. And in the above example, it's two. We have two in here, two in here. It's how many are in there? They're equal, just, they're just not from the same space. And remember, they're equal because the way we build them is we use our pivots and those are the two rows that have our pivots and those are the two columns that have our pivots corresponding of course so they have to be the same so let's write out some notes so the dimension of the column space of a and the dimension of the row space of a are equal and this is our number of columns again our a is an M by N. It is definitely this N that we're talking about. In the above example, my nullity was one, my rank was two, you add them up, we got three, and A is a two by three. They're the same. These are both subsets of our N. And this is a new fact. The row space and the null space are perpendicular to each other, which means their dot products are zero. Let's do an example. We do want to zero that out. So these are our two pivots. So we use the corresponding columns, first two. We have to augment that row reduced. and we don't need our T in there. Also, before I go on, I actually usually do this before I find my, my null space. This is a three by three. My N is three, and this is actually part B. My rank is how many are in these two, which is two. My N is three, so my nullity is one. These two have to add up to be three, and all right, we got one. And 
And our second one. So we get zero for both, so we're done. That's it for today. Have a good day.